Hey everybody, Spaz here. It's time for another episode of But Is It Power Pop? That's right, But Is It Power Pop? Uh, I'm going to start off with an Australian band called The Boys. Oh yes, this is Power Pop. Uh, this came out on um, uh, out of Australia. It's a nice uh, little gatefold package. It's probably out of print now, but uh, The Boys from Australia definitely a power pop band that uh you should uh uh get into and enjoy this is from the, uh 79 i believe um speaking of the boys what about the british uh pop punk band and when i say pop punk i'm not talking uh blink 182 and newfound glory and all that crap i'm talking about this is uh really sort of rock and roll and ramones inspired british uh punk with a really uh, uh, a poppy edge um I'd say that it's probably 50% power pop and then uh, a lot of good uh, melodic punk stuff on there. But it's really fun. Um, doesn't sound like the Ramones. You know, it's not like the undertones, which is very, very uh, uh, Ramonesy. But um, this is far more melodic than uh, uh, most of the other British punk bands at the time and uh, very highly recommended. Um, but is it power pop? Nope, Haircut 100 is not power pop. But did you know that Nick Hayward, after one album, quit the band and he put out this album? But that's not power pop either. No, 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 that's not power pop. I will tell you, there are three albums that Nick Hayward put out. Uh, Tangled, uh, The Apple Band, and From Monday to Sunday, and these are pop delights. These would definitely fall under the power pop uh, uh uh, genre, uh, so to speak. Uh, each of these, uh, when they came out on Cherry Red, they had a bunch of bonus tracks. Um, and uh, unfortunately, they might be out of print by now, but uh, they're definitely uh, definitely worth, worth your while. Uh, once again, Nick Hayward, three great albums, all very much in the uh, line of power pop. North of a Miracle and uh, his his other uh, solo records, his ones from the, like the eighties, those are not very power pop. They're you know they're they're along the lines of Haircut One Hundred, very lush and 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 romantic and stuff. But these are definitely rock and guitar stuff. Um, but is it power pop? Well, you know what, Michael Jackson, the king of pop, not power pop. Um, a band that everybody talks about in power pop, you know, in the power pop world is, is, is Badfinger. And I love Badfinger, and I've loved Badfinger for, for decades. My favorite, you know, everyone talks about like the uh, uh, a straight up No Dice being being the power pop albums uh, to get by Badfinger. My favorite Badfinger album is Wish You Were Here from 74, the second Warner Brothers album. It's, it's for for lack of a better description, it's their version of Abbey Road. It's it's just this this wonderful, outstanding record. But the one I'm going to feature today is definitely Power Pop. This is when a lot of people talk about Power Pop, they talk about like the late seventies, early eighties uh, sound. Um, and this album here from eighty one, um, it's post Pete Ham. Uh, this is uh, Tommy and Joey, and. Uh, uh, Peter Max did the album cover, by the way. Um, and this is an absolutely stellar album. It's power pop. Um, it continues in the Badfinger power pop tradition, but on a different level. It, it, it sounds more like, you know, better produced, a little slick, but it's just a fantastic record. Uh, by this time, Joey Mullen was just writing... In the early Badfinger stuff, he was writing really the, the meat and potato stuff where Tommy and Pete wrote the melodic stuff and Joey was right there in the center holding it together, writing the more meat and potato stuff. By the time of like Wish You Were Here, Joey was writing great songs. Uh, Airwaves, he was writing great songs. But this is just a stellar record. If you get away from that whole Apple period and if you approach this record just as a great power pop record, you are going to love it. It's not... It's not a weak album at all. Um, and it is back in print on Gonzo, uh, so you can get that. Uh, but is this Power Pop? I'd say this is pretty darn close to Power Pop. Blondie Parallel Lines, in my opinion, their best record. Um, this is, of course, the one with bonus tracks. And uh, uh, it's, you know, hanging on the telephone. And, and uh, okay, so, so uh, Heart of Glass is not Power Pop. But I mean, if you look at you know, hang on telephone one way or another, um, 
uh, Pretty Baby, uh, Sunday Grill. I mean, hello. This is this is power pop to the tenth degree. Um, Chris Bedding, Hurt. Chris Bedding is more rock and roll, but boy, he can crank out some great tunes like like just, just the title track or the the, the quasi title track. It's um actually called uh, Hurt by Love, I think. Um, uh, 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 yeah, hurt by love. Um, it, this this also has pogo dancing, wild in the streets, silver bullet, a lot of great stuff on this record. Um, Chris Benning, it's more rock and roll, but um, so was like a lot of the Plimsolls uh, uh, first album and stuff like. Well, Plimsolls first album was kind of more um, had an R and B flavor to it stuff, but a lot of good power pop was really based in in, in straight ahead rock and roll. And Chris Benning, hurt by love, definitely. Uh, would be a great addition to anybody's um, uh, power pop collection. In fact, there was a, 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 a domestic album called Ready, Spinning, Go that was only on vinyl. That is a great introduction. So if you're a vinyl collector, you can get that. I don't collect vinyl. I collect CDs. And uh, I've got all the Chris Spedding uh, solo stuff. Uh, the Tours. Uh, again, very poppy punk. Uh, not straightforward, 100%. Um, uh, power pop, but a lot of power pop fans really love that, and um, uh, this is definitely something that you should you should check out. Uh, they released only a couple singles in their lifetime, uh, but this this uh, set here collects their singles and um, tracks that were supposed to be on the album, plus some bonus stuff, and that's really worth your while. And then finally, I know they're known as a mod band, they're known as a punk band. Uh, but this right here, the jam second album, this is the modern world. Boy, does this have some power pop anthems. I mean, if you just look at this, uh, uh, standards, life from a window, um, uh, London girl, I need you, uh, here comes the weekend tonight at noon. I mean, we're talking stellar power pop. Those things, uh, would, would fit on any power pop compilation, uh, that that you make. In fact, um, I might go make a power pop compilation now. But uh, that's it with uh, this edition of. But is it power pop? Um, I forgot how I said it at the beginning, but um, I got to figure it out uh, and and you know work it, work in my uh, little um, uh, sayings and stuff like that. So anyway, um, I'm I've babbled long enough. Uh, thank you everybody for watching. Smell you later. <laughs>